on this video I'm gonna show how to use encryption algorithms to to help making uh, information more more secure we're gonna be using uh, cryptographic uh, uh, functions to encrypt uh, on this on this example passwords uh, I'm gonna show uh, uh, three techniques I'm gonna use the MD5 algorithm the uh, message digest algorithm which is a 128-bit encryption I'm gonna use the SHA-1 um, it was created by the National Security Agency and I'm gonna create uh, also a, a password encryption using the crypt and the salt uh, technique okay uh, the subject for encryption is way more than than just a quick video tutorial each uh, uh, function itself each algorithm itself it's a uh, it's it's more vast to to learn than just a quick video so this video is just to give a, a quick introduction on how to accomplish uh, how to use the three algorithms so if you're planning to use this further you should uh, learn how to use it more uh, accurate better than than this simple example I'm gonna be using Aptana for the for the code I'm gonna be uh, using PHP for the for the script language and so Aptana is on the left and the uh, the new the new Internet Explorer, I guess it's called Edge, now is it's on the right. This is Windows 10. So, create the block of code. Save. Encryption. Techniques. Okay, so just uh, as I as I said, as I mentioned, uh, PHP on the left, and once I save the file and execute it, we'll see the code at execution time, the result on the right okay so uh, give a little space we're going to create the main password declaring a variable and we're gonna define it as hello hello one two three Break away the PHP and place a HTML breaker and use this often so I'm gonna cut and gonna copy it. I'm gonna echo out The main password. So we declared main main password, and we assign uh, we defined hello one two three for the main password. So uh, I'm doing something wrong here. So once we execute it, the main password 
is the value of the main password which is hello123 this is line 10 okay now we are going to encrypt the main password using the first algorithm which is the MD5 we're going to declare a variable called MD5 password and we're going to use the MD5 algorithm encrypt the main password with MD5 and a breakaway give it two breakers so it gives two line spaces and we're going to echo out we're going to print This is the MD5. This is the main password with MD5 encryption. Okay, so we have the main password defined up here on line 6. We define another variable called MD5 password and we are encrypting main password with the MD5 algorithm. And now we're gonna echo out, we're gonna print the main password after the MD5 encryption. So this is the main password with MD5 encryption. So hello123 becomes this sequence of uh, alphanumeric characters letters and numbers so this is one technique this is the MD5 now I'm going to show the SHA SHA1 algorithm uh, there is one thing I want to mention also. Um, one second, I want to remove the breakers here. This, all three algorithms I'm showing, it's considered, uh, it's called a one way encryption. What it means is, it will encrypt on this example, will encrypt hello123 into this line, but you cannot decrypt, you cannot send it back to hello123 you can use techniques to verify if what you're typing it's equals this description this I mean this encryption in the database this information is saved in the database so you can verify it like type this encrypt this and then the encrypted data verify if it equals this data saved in the database it's still a one-way uh, verification because you're not, you know, going back. But uh, so it's important to understand that it's considered a one-way encryption. You can only encrypt; you cannot decrypt. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show the SHA one now, and I'm going to declare a variable called SHA one password Oops. and we're going to use the SHA-1 algorithm and we 
going to encrypt the main password with SHA-1 encryption. Give it a line space. And we're going to print the main password with SHA-1 encryption Okay, so we are now using the SHA-1 algorithm to encrypt main password and we're going to be calling it SHA-1 password. So on line 27 it will print out here once I save it and execute. Uh, actually here I did need the two breakers. Okay, so this is the main password with SHA-1 encryption. So hello123 using the MD5 encryption becomes this and hello123 using the SHA-1 encryption becomes this. It still uses um, alphanumeric uh, characters which is characters, uh, letters and numbers but it's longer. It's uh, as you can see the same password is longer now we are going to use the crypt algorithm the idea of salt what it means is we're going to be adding something into the encryption that is going to make it a little more difficult to uh, to be uh, 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 broken to uh, somebody to break in and find out about okay so we're going to create a variable called salt and we're going to define the variable with the values capital A1 you can put anything here now we're going to declare the crypt password variable and we're going to use the crypt algorithm to encrypt the main password and use the salt to add another layer of difficulties difficulty okay so now we're going to echo I'm gonna put a breaker here so I print the the value of the encryption uh, password below it just like we have it here so we can measure you know, the size of it so this is the main password with the crypt plus salt encryption. And we're gonna break use a line break and we're gonna echo Crypt password. I think I need to break it here. Okay, so uh, we are uh, using salt for this is the crypt algorithm. We it allows us to use uh, the salt variable to add more 
a little more level of difficulty let me call it like that to the uh, crypt password so this is the main password password with the crypt plus salt encryption and we're gonna print out the crypt password and we're gonna see it here so I'm gonna save now here it is so hello world encrypted with MD5 becomes this hello world encrypted with the SHA-1 becomes this and hello world encrypted with crypt plus salt becomes this now I prefer the crypt password uh, the crypt uh, cryptographic uh, uh, technique I'm gonna show you why once I save it here uh, this is not a static encryption it's dynamic the other two are static as you can see here the values will not change once I refresh the page uh, I thought I could do it here okay so every time I refresh the page the values for SHA-1 and MD5 remains and the values for crypt and salt changes so this adds even a, an extra layer of difficulty to uh, see every time I refresh it becomes something different this as I mentioned in the beginning is just a, a quick introduction for to use uh, encryption algorithms for passwords or any information it helps on the on the transmission over uh, web so it doesn't get uh, discovered uh, to, to have a site where it's you know with more layers of security there there are many other things you should do for example um, allow access by IP address or by MAC address and implement other ways of uh, uh, encryption uh, okay thank you thank you very much for watching i hope the video uh, helps